shit. What's up buddies? Welcome to finally another Q&A video. Now, if I sound tired or stressed or whatever, this is actually the third time I'm recording this entire darn video. The first time I did it, audio didn't work at all. It was completely muted. I don't know if it was my, my PC that was glitching out or whatever. The second time I recorded this entire video, the audio was then recorded by my face cam as opposed to this freaking microphone that we have right here. So. I'm hoping third time lucky here. I also hope you're super excited for this because it's going to be an awesome Q&A and a very different one. This time around, I actually asked a whole bunch of people on Twitter or just people on Twitter in general to send me questions, but do it via a video recording on their phone. So you guys get to see people, live people asking me questions instead of just the usual messages that I read out. So if you're really excited for that, remember to smash the like button. If we can crack 5,000 likes, that would be incredible. I'd love to know if you guys like this version of a Q&A and if you do, again, let me know in the comments down below and maybe the next time we do it very similar to this. And quickly, I wanted to say thank you so much for the support on my YouTube channel and my Twitch streams and on Twitter and all of that stuff. You guys have been so incredible throughout this entire year. And since the last time we did a Q&A video, I don't think I've really had a chance to say thank you for all the support. You guys are incredible. Now, without further ado, let's get into the questions. This is my favorite football jersey. It's a signed Cristiano Ronaldo Portugal shirt. I'd just like to ask, if you could have a jersey signed by any player, present or past, who would it be? Thanks for answering the question. I hope you and the family are well. First of all, I'm so jealous of that Ronaldo signed jersey. Specifically for me, it would definitely have to be a Zlatan Ibrahimovic jersey. I'm just not entirely sure what team I would want signed. Either maybe an international, you know, signature, so for Sweden, or I'm thinking Ajax. I'd love to have a Zlatan Ibrahimovic signed Ajax jersey. So if you guys ever see something like that for sale on eBay or whatever, please tweet me because I do want to try and get something like that. Hello, Nick. Love from Saskatoon. What is one thing that you think that you could improve on as a YouTuber and or a streamer? Fellow Canadian there and Vancouver Canuck fan as well. For me, improvement in Twitch or YouTube, it definitely has to come with how I deal with hate. Now, as you guys know, or you've definitely seen from my videos and my streams, I wear my heart on my sleeve. So I'm a very like emotional, reactive person. I don't really hide my emotions. I'm very expressive and passionate about my opinions. And then when it comes to the haters and, and, and just the, the abusive comments and stuff, I always feel a need to reply to them, whether it's to like, you know, just, just rebuttal their argument or their moronic message or something like that. And it does actually get to me. It really does irritate me. And that's definitely something I need to change. 99% of the comments I get on Twitter or on YouTube or even on Twitch are all positive, happy, kind comments, but I tend to always obsess over the moronic 1% of, of hate messages. So that is definitely something I need to take going forward is to learn how to just, you know, dirt off my shoulders, ignore the hate, block it and move on. Pull a Bateson on those idiots. All right, Nick, I got a question for you. Would you rather eat three meals of McDonald's every day for a full year? You cannot eat anything else. Or would you rather only eat healthy, but only be able to eat one meal a day. The Nick from years and years ago that was much younger, of course, but also had never seen that Super Size Me movie, documentary, whatever you want to call it, would have probably given you the answer of, oh my God, hell yeah, I'll have McDonald's three times a day. But now that I'm older and my metabolism is a hell of a lot slower, as much as it would suck to only have one healthy meal a day and not be able to snack or have, you know, a couple of meals or whatever, have a nice dinner or breakfast or whatever that is, as much as that would suck, I would definitely go for the one healthy meal a day. And hey, if I'm looking like one of the guys from 300 by the end of it, that's amazing. What's good, boss man? Did you ever think that when you started YouTube, you would ever be in a TV show? Because that's pretty insane. Simply put, no. I, 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 I didn't even really start doing Twitch and then YouTube specifically thinking it would go anywhere. I just did it because, I, you know, three, four years ago, I was watching Twitch. I was watching YouTube, seeing, you know, the likes of Bateson or the likes of Air Japes even, or the likes of JJ, KSI, doing their thing, thinking like, I could do that. I play Ultimate Team. I, I love footy. I love talking about the sport. I do it all the time with my friends anyways. I really want to be a part of this community. I think I have a lot to offer. And I just did it for fun. 
fun. So the way things have ballooned and now we're going to be on a TV show and stuff like that, you know, you guys aren't really allowed to know any more specifics than that. But yeah, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. And I never would have seen that. I just wish I could talk to you guys more specifically about the show. I'm not allowed to really speak about anything other than the few details I give you here until the show is released, which hopefully will be the end of 2016 or maybe the early 2017. Are there any famous celebrities on the new show? Keep up the good work. Yeah, you're looking at him. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Calm down. I know I ain't shit. But on a serious note, yes, there's going to, I, I think there's at least going to be a few celebrities, well, well known celebrities on the show. Now they're very well known throughout the USA and Canada and like the Americas. I just don't know if they're known in the UK. I'm not sure if, if the show or that version of the show or whatever is available in the UK or Europe. Hi Nick, if you were a professional footballer and you could choose any club to play for, which one would you play for? For all the fame and the glory and everything, I think it would definitely have to be Real Madrid. Now that answer, I think would be different if Leeds United were maybe still in the Premier League and pushing, you know, the top four spots and, and considered one of the best teams in English football and maybe even in Europe like they were years and years ago then I would maybe have said Leeds United. But honestly, becoming a professional footballer, I think I think the glory that goes along with Real Madrid would definitely be where I would want to play. Hi Nick, uh, I've been wondering how long you've been playing video games for. I'm gonna make myself look really old here, but I've been playing video games for really as long as I can remember. The first time and my first memory of video games is actually when my dad came back from being away. He, My dad lived away from home in New York, Boston, New Jersey, all the way up until I was 13. So one Christmas when he came home, uh, obviously I was relatively young, he had brought a Nintendo and I remember playing Duck Hunt for the first time or maybe like the first Mario for the first time on, you know, the square controller with the, with the plugged in controller. I, that was amazing. And that's definitely where it all started for me. Hey Nick. Who was your idol when you were growing up outside of football? This is going to be a very generic response or maybe something that a lot of people would say. I know I'm happy to say this. My idols for me outside of football were definitely my parents. Uh, growing up, you know, my parents got divorced when I was two, but like my mom did everything for me when I was young. And, and even to this day, making me feel like, you know, everything was, you know, awesome. We had so many family values and so many good things going on. She did everything she could to make me happy. And same thing for my dad, even though he lived away from home, as I mentioned, earlier he did everything he could he tried to come back as 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 often as he could he actually stopped his career progression and essentially hurt his career a little bit to move back to Canada Vancouver Canada where I was living for my teen years and that's when I moved in with my dad and stuff so my parents struggled a lot when I was young we went through a lot we didn't have a lot growing up but my parents worked their asses off to make my life so good so they were definitely both my heroes growing up and then even more specifically and I guess as equal to my parents was my judo my dad's father my grandfather was absolutely my hero when my dad was away until I was about 13 my grandfather filled in he would pick me up from my mom over weekends and take care of me and, and take me to see my other side of the family and hang out with me I was named after my grandfather born on the same day as my grandfather he escaped a war in Lebanon and tried to get his family to safety and brought his kids to Belgium and the south of France so that they could study there and then got the entire family over to Canada so my judo my grandfather's absolutely my hero. Who do you think is going to win the Premier League this uh, next season and why? And how well do you think Leeds are going to do next season given um, Gary Monk as the manager and the signings that they're pulling off? I think this year is going to be harder than any to predict in terms of the Premier League with all the incredible coaches and all the money that's flying around in the Premier League. It's just absolutely incredible. But I think the winner is going to be between Manchester City, Pep Guardiola and all the money that they have and Manchester United, as much as that pains me to say, just the, the, the way that they are buying players in the transfer window so far this summer, it seems like Man United still in the shows. Latan Ibrahimovic and Mikatarian. I don't know, maybe while you're watching this video, this has come true or not, but now they're slated to trying to get Paul Pogba back. They're saying maybe even Blaise Matuidi. So Man United with all of their signings and if everything clicks under Mourinho, I could see Man United winning the Premier League. If you were offered, would you join the Sidemen? Anyone that would turn down an offer from the Sidemen, I think would be absolutely crazy. I'm proud to say that I've known the Sidemen for many, many years now, and they're incredible guys. They're so awesome in how they use their platform to help out charities, very similar to what we do on my Twitch streams and my YouTube videos for charities. I love guys with the platform that they have and the, the, the audience that they have, the amount of people that love them, that they push so much goodwill and so much good work and raising money for charity. Now, I haven't met them face to face or in person, 
person yet. I hope to change that at some point in my life. So yes, I think like anyone else, I would take up that offer. Hey, Nick. What's your favorite FIFA that you ever played? I'm the type of person that would always say the latest or newest FIFA is my favorite FIFA because honestly, the game does progress. As much as we want to hate on FIFA 16 and how, let's say, bad everyone thinks it is, go play some old versions of FIFA Ultimate Team and it is abysmal. It feels clunky. It feels terrible when you compare it to FIFA 16. So yes, this year has been maybe one of the worst years in terms of the issues with the game, how by day to day to day to day it feels good, then it feels bad, then it feels terrible. So FIFA 16 is relatively weak in that regard. And maybe that's what's making me feel even more nostalgic. I think as time progresses more and more and more, I'm starting to feel like FIFA 14 was my favorite year for Ultimate Team and FIFA in general. Now that's mostly down to that's when I started out my career. That's when everything started for me on Twitch and on YouTube. I had that amazing Zlatan Ibrahimovic team of the year card with his five star skills, four star weak foot. We packed our second favorite card, the silver team of the season, Memphis Depay, which obviously skyrocketed my YouTube channel into the limelight. Other YouTubers were using the video as a reaction and all that awesome stuff. So for me, the nostalgia of FIFA 14 ultimate team and all the awesome things that started back then and have continued until now definitely fifa 14 i think i would have to say is my favorite ultimate team ever but i do have high hopes for fifa 17 frostbite engine all the changes that ea seem to be making to the gameplay new kits custom kits all the awesome stuff that they're putting into ultimate team i'm very excited for there it is that's the end of the q a thank you so much for sending me in all of your video questions again i do apologize for a lot of you guys we got so many video responses that i couldn't use them all but if you guys enjoyed this version of a Q&A, again, remember to smash the like button. If we can get over 5,000 likes and I see in the comments that you guys are really, really enjoying this type of a video, we will do it again and we'll do it again very soon. And I also want to say, feel free to ask me more broad questions instead of me just sitting here on my ass answering your questions. If you want to ask me stuff like, well, how many key P uppies can you do? How many times can you hit the crossbar in five attempts? I'll try and bring like real life or football challenges into my Q&A videos. I think that could be super fun. So thank you so much for supporting the channel and as always, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!